What's going on, everybody? Dan on Buster checking out The Devil Wears Prada Sacrifice. Now, obviously, when I see the name The Devil Wears Prada, I'm like, okay. Oddly, they're just fans of the movie. The Meryl Streep movie. Pretty good, pretty good. But then in my 10 seconds of half-assed internet research, one, they're from Ohio, and two... The band was formed in 05. I know the movie came out in 06. So I have no idea how they came up with their fucking name. I have no clue. Is, is it just a phrase I don't know about? Is the Devil Wears Prada like a, a thing? Maybe. Oh, what a quinky dink. Because I'm pretty sure the movie didn't get it after the band. I'm pretty sure, no. So I don't know. But this comes from Indica, a patron. Appreciate you as always. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. And let's check this out. What would that phrase even really mean, the Devil Wears Prada? If it wasn't because after the movie, but the band came first. Weird. Just weird. I felt it under my skin. Watch the walls closing. Your words drawn like a blade. Contaminate my veins. I'm bored. You bent the truth so you could play the victim. What's real fate? I swear. If you pause it, like, right here, random, your song is actually, it's going right now, but if you pause it right here, he looks exactly like young Eddie Vedder. Like, it's like, is this, is Jeremy about to be played? It looks exactly like him. I like the background screen, always. That was nasty. While he screamed that line in the background, the clean vocalist... He's, he, he was behind him, but he didn't really sing it. He kind of, like, spoke it. Nice. That was awesome. Again, the song is cooking. It's actually pretty damn good. But the camera work, beautiful. He walks up a la Heath Ledger Joker here. You know, camera angle from the back. And it's clearly the harsh vocalist you can tell by the haircut. Right into it. Beautiful. Great camera work. Push me off the edge. It's actually me or 
this is kind of unique for a band with two singers. No, not that they have a clean vocalist. and ha- Everyone has that. But if you remove the, the, the harsh vocalist here, and by the way, he is stealing this fucking show. This, he's stealing this song. Pause at a weird time. The drummer's staring directly into my soul. One second. Thank, thank you. I, I, he was right there. It was too much, too much. Couldn't handle it. But uh, but the uh, if you removed the harsh vocalist and all of his parts from this song, and then the verse he had there alone just shortened the song by about a minute, this would still be a good three minute nineteen. Song, like the the it everything went perfectly. It, it sounds it fits the tone. It, this song does not need the harsh vocalist at all to be a pretty good song. But he really takes it up another notch. Like he really does. Usually, you kind of need each other. It's like peanut butter and jelly type of thing. You can't really just eat a fucking jelly sandwich. It's kind of like that. Usually, this one you could remove the jelly and the peanut butter is still good, but the jelly just makes it way better. Just point it out, like, I noticed if you've removed him, they're fine. But they are way better with him. <laughs> like, he's stealing this song. What I said about this song would be exactly the same, basically, without them. Like, it'd still be a good song. Whatever breakdown they seem to be about to, about to have here. Now, you, you can't have this breakdown in the song without the harsh vocalist. So I may need to, like, take that back. Entity is in that TV needs to upgrade to a better TV. Was this 1986? Like Jesus Christ, it's a tiny little box. I'm, I'm sorry, I just wouldn't be scared of an entity who is in inferior technology. <laughs> You're not in high def, bro. I'm not scared. But anyway, anyway, damn good song. Also, I think that was a guitarist just a shot ago. He was like jamming out in the shitter. This video had a lot going on. Very well directed. And again, very good song that, until that breakdown, because you can't have a breakdown like that. Those type of breakdowns, you must have a harsh vocalist. You just do. You can't have Aaron Lewis can't be doing a breakdown like that. You just, well, young Aaron Lewis. Fuck. Stained. The singer of Green Day. You can't have a, uh, I can't remember his name. He's got, he's got a hyphen. Whatever. You can't have him do a breakdown like that. Just not gonna work. It's gonna sound like shit. It's gonna be completely all over the place. See, I do need a harsh vocalist for that. But without that breakdown, this song is a nice, little, pretty good rock song. But with him, he brought a lot. He brought a lot of anger. A whole nother depth. I liked it, man. I liked it. Devil Wears Prada. I'm still wondering, though. Where the fuck they could have possibly got the name? Because, again, I think everyone would kind of put money on, oh, okay, they got it from the, the movie. That's a pretty good title. But then they came out first. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into it and see if it's like a phrase in some part of town. I was going to say some part of town they're from. I'm from their part of town. <laughs> so no, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> but hit like, subscribe if you are new.
Indica, appreciate you. I like these people. They're good. And the, again, could have been a good song without the harsh vocals, but he absolutely just snatched the entire soul of the song. <laughs> Especially the second half. This, this song kind of belonged to him. A real one.